tell the second cold snap has hit and it's a perfect time to get in the shop and do some things that we've been backed up on and do some things that we've been waiting on just recently in the mail we got a samurai computer back from a guy that works on them for me if there's if there's any issues and then months before that we purchased a computer online and it was kind of a special deal we'll roll that video and kind of show you how we came across that and who helped us out with that so take a look at this way to the post office to get a computer for one of my samurais the the samurais the 90 and the 91s I've got a, a one of them's a 90 one of them's a 91 but it's the same computer that's typically what may go wrong if something happens with them and they stop running or won't start and so I had a computer that was in one of them and wouldn't it wouldn't start so I sent it off to a guy that works on them and he spent uh, four years <laughs> trying to get it to work and never could get it to work uh, and luckily I had another samurai that I could use now, we use them for hunting that's our main thing is for hunting with them but uh, I had another one that I could use so I'm just now kind of given up on the computer that I had sent off to be fixed so I was in the process of trying to find a computer well they're not just hanging on every shelf uh, so I was browsing through my YouTube stuff and I saw a guy's channel by the name of Danger Dave and he was doing a engine swap on a 90 or a 91 Samurai. I don't remember exactly, but uh, he was putting a 1.6 in it, which is kind of a, a kind of a fairly common swap that people will do for the uh, Sammies, the one three Sammies, Samurais. And so I just he the the video was about two years old, but I just dropped him a comment and said, hey. What did you do with your computer off of your your old engine and he responded back and said it's sitting on a shelf <laughs> so we started visiting a little bit and and i basically asked him if he wanted to sell it and he said yeah he'd sell it so i'm going to the post office to pick the computer up so i'm excited about it uh, danger dave check his stuff i tell you what he's way far surpassed anything that we do with respect to uh, engines and 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 samurais in general you need to go check out his page uh, because he's got one of the coolest samurais and one of the most unbelievable 1.6 redos uh, as far as the engine just look at it just go and look at it it's unbelievable but uh, he takes it out on look, look what I can see he takes it out on lots of trail rides and things like that on the weekend so it's a it's a cool deal check him out i'll leave a link in my description to his channel on youtube awesome awesome stuff uh unbelievable that he still had that computer and unbelievable that he's willing to sell it to me just above and beyond i really do appreciate it so go check him out okay here we go the computer from danger dave Ooh, nice wrapping. Bubble wrap. He sent me a little LED light. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, wee. Man, that thing looks way nicer than either of mine. DD. He signed it. <laughs> all right, all we got to do is plug it in. 
these these computers are real simple. Uh, they just shove up in there, and these two cables just plug right in the ye the yellow one and the green one. It's a plug and play deal. So that's all we got to do. Then cross our fingers. The moment of truth. Yeah. Running a little rough. That's okay, we can fix that. What that is, is this computer, according to Dave's uh, video, his Samurai had like, I wanna say 400,000 miles on it. If I'm wrong on that, uh, Correct me on a comment, Dave. But uh, anyway, it had several several thousand miles. So what that means is it's old and it's been used a bunch. So typically what happens on those computers is the capacitors start, start to bleed. And so you have to go in and change all the capacitors and then it runs just like normal. So that's awesome. That tells me that the, the microprocessor's working and all that stuff. So I'll send it off to my computer guy and it will be functioning like new. Awesome, way to go, Dave. During the process of debugging this Samurai, this is a 90 or 91 DFI Samurai electronic fuel injection. And I had to take drop the tank and, and redo all the fuel stuff because it had sat here for so long. So I had to clean the tank out, got it clean. Okay, so here's the pump. And it was pretty much trashed. You know, there, there's people online that say, hey, just just uh, clean the pump and you can get it working again. But, you know, to go to that much trouble to drop the tank and clean out the tank and then try to clean a pump that looks like that and hope it works for a while, that's not my style. So I said, well, I'll just get a new one. Well, that was a, that was a chore. I finally got a hold of a friend of mine who guides for me, who's a mechanic, and he located a pump that would work at least that's what we thought this is the pump and we got it at Delphi and I think it was actually for a sidekick if you look at it and I know y'all can't see it but it looks exactly the same as the one we took out so we installed it I installed it and it it kept blowing fuses so I was afraid I had a short in the wiring somewhere went through all of that couldn't find the short uh, the mechanic, Travis, was up here on a hunt. And so after we got done guiding one morning, we came down here and he brought another pump, swapped the pump out, did the same thing. So finally he went back and, and got together with the, uh, actually came through AutoZone, got together with his AutoZone guy who he had been dealing with for years. Long story short, switched the polarity on the pump. You're gonna switch the red and the black wires. So I've got to cut these wires and swap them around and then plug it into the standard Samurai connection and it works. So just a little tip. Now, because that is dealing with the fuel system and fuel is highly flammable and even explosive at times, I'm not recommending you do that. Okay, got it soldered up, a little heat shrink on it, went ahead and put an electrical tape around it, and I uh, just about stuffed it back in there, but first I'm gonna get the hoses all cooked up. There we go. Now we gotta move to the front. So it was several months ago that I shipped this off. This is where I shipped it to. He, he fixes, I've got a couple of different computers because I have a couple of different Sammies. But he's always the guy that fixes it. But right now, parts are just ridiculous to get. And it doesn't help that the Samurai computers are basically obsolete anyway. So, so it was a great help that Danger Dave allowed me to kind of purchase this thing at a huge discount. He just, he just really did us a favor. There it is installed we're ready to give it a whirl all right here we go uh there's obviously not any fuel in the system so i don't know if i need to spray a little fuel stuff in the battery's probably dead too now that i think about it yep 
been cold. But they should be better than that. Oh, I smell gas. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! This thing hadn't been started in probably eight, nine years. I kind of told you everything I did. I dropped the fuel, the fuel tank, cleaned it out, new pump, uh, put a couple of new relays on it. <laughs> Didn't really flush the lines. I checked to see if I was getting fuel up to here. Got the new computer put on from Danger Dave. My man. And look at that baby. I mean, did you see how fast it started? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! That is so awesome, man. That is so awesome. You know, these, these little rigs are hard to beat. And that's the beauty of them. I had a Honda, I have got a Honda UTV. It's, a, it's the first one they made, the Pioneer 700. And it's been a pretty good rig until I got to about 7,600 uh, miles on it. And then it, it started having trouble with power and shifting. And so I'm like, okay, well, it's a transmission. So I took it to my guy that works on that stuff. He's a Suzuki guy. And so he didn't know a whole bunch about them. But he was able to find out that it... At about 7,800 miles, you have to basically redo the motor because the motor and the transmission are one unit. You have to tear the motor down to get to the transmission. So it's at the shop, it's still at the shop. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it fixed. But these were my first UTVs. This Samurai, and then I've got another one right over there that was my very first one. Same year model, both electronic fuel injection, that one over there, I bought for $1,500. This one was $1,200. Nowadays, I don't know what it cost you, but they're just so wonderful because they're almost the same size as a UTV. You know, they're almost as, as wide. And I used to haul, uh, whenever I was doing feeders in Texas, I used to haul 22 bags of corn in the back of this thing. And then I would gin around and, and get all my feeders filled with this because I didn't have a UTV. You know, I couldn't afford one of those things, so that's why I got Samurai's, but anyway. I'm tickled. I'm Jack. I'm excited. Dave, thanks, man. Travis, hey, thanks for finding the fuel pump for me. We finally figured it out, and it's working great. Hit the subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. I know this was a little bit different, but there again, this is ranch work. Thanks for watching.